initially with the naked eye, it appeared as though when Tony jumped back that he was somewhat staggered, but he was actually just gaining his balance. Exactly. And now the body work from Tony. Some big headshots here from Jones to keep him out of the inside, though. Jones, the quicker of the two. Would you agree, Joe? Well, he is at this point. Right now, Tony seemingly uh, thinks he knows what he has to do, and that's to put the pressure on. But Roy Jones came off the ropes when he got pinned there with some beautiful shots back at Tony. Oh! Big left hook, and down goes Tony! He, he was caught showing off. He did by that patented jumping left hook. He I, got suckered into it. I don't know if he was off balance as much as hurt. I think a little of both, but I don't think he's as hurt as the people might think he is here because he was fooling around. You know, Jones actually stuck his hands apart as if to joke, and Tony did the same thing, and Jones was too quick before Tony could get back defensively, and Jones starting to put it together here in the third. A minute gone by. Here comes Tony now, loading up the right hand right in the corner of Jones, and that has to surprise many people here, including myself, and I have to figure you're probably surprised at the power of Jones as well. I'm not surprised at the power of Jones at all, but uh, I am surprised that James Tony has taken this long to really put some pressure on. This is what he's got to do, just like that, to make this fight happen and get his counters in. He's really getting hit by some counter shots from Jones here. Jones's hands and his feet, everything a lot quicker, and his confidence growing. That could be dangerous, though, against Tony. Good Ooh, counter by Tony. His best punch of the fight. But look at Jones. He's a scary dude. They're both scary. But I think Jones is even scarier because he's so darn fast. But I'll tell you. Oh, street, ring, anywhere, you wouldn't want to fight either one of these guys, especially Roy Jones at this point. So far, it's been all we figured it would be. Jones scoring the knockdown. It was more than a flash knockdown. Tony was off balance, but the power of the left hook kind of knocked him into his own turnbuckle. What I want you to look at, see, is uh, even though you just saw a missed right hand, is look at Jones when he gets pinned on the ropes and he ties up Tony. He looks around at the crowd. It's like he's, he's just wrestling with his baby brother. No problem. He's got so much luck. Look at him. See? Looks around. No problem. You know, I can deal with that. He's really an amazing guy, full of self-confidence. And look how low his hands are. Tony nearly caught him that time with the left hook. But you saw what happened. Jones had his hands down, but they're so quick, he leaned back and caught Tony with a little left hook. He's just, he's just so quick. You don't fight like this unless it works for you. And this has worked for Jones so long, it'll work for him tonight as well. He is so quick. Tony is right now finding out that he may not have the quickest hands in the sport, but we know he has the street toughness. And you look, you look up under the right eye of Tony, who appears not to have his game plan working for him right now. And he seems a bit confused. Or What's your game plan against Roy Jones? I mean, it's a hard game plan to have. The game plan is to put a lot of pressure on, but that's really never been James Tony's forte. He's a counterpuncher. Uh, he may have to switch up during the fight and really put in the pressure. Here's Miller, the trainer for Tony. But when you jab, when you're going in jab, double up on the jab. I wouldn't drop me. I know. Here we go. Here's that little whoop de doo fake out. They're both faking. Look, and there goes Jones. And see, he kind of caught him and pushed him, too. They bumped the bodies together. I don't think he was hurt as much. He was off balance. And then watch, watch, see, and then the push there. And look at Tony, how strong he is, though. He doesn't go down because he knows that if he does go down, any part touches, it's a knockdown. Jones actually played him into this, though. He suckered him into that by doing it himself. And Tony fell prey for it. But it was definitely a push. It was a, it was a punch, but then the ultimate result was a push. Round four, and like a cat in an alley, Tony comes out with some fury.